what is up guys, it's the BYT here, back with another video, there's a stream, so. um, just got finished watching Halloween Havoc 1994, um, yeah, Syracuse is going to the final four, uh, I, I live by Syracuse, that area, like, I live like an hour and a half away, I would say an hour and a hour away, maybe, um, And I really can't say, you know, a lot of people say it's fixed. I really can't say if it is or not, because I really don't watch enough of college basketball. I only watch the, um, the tournament, round 64, and the, basically the whole tournament. But So, I mean, I can't really say if it's fixed or not, but it probably was. You know, they're a 10 seed. They shouldn't even have been in the tournament. All of a sudden, they're magically in the Final Four. But Villanova, my dad's favorite team's in the Final Four, too. So I mean, it's that makes up for it. Um, right. Um. So Halloween Havoc 1994. I know I said I was gonna upload and watch this like five days ago. Um, been really tired. I mean, I've been just enjoying this week off. Basically, we're going back to school tomorrow. Kind of sucks ass, but you know, it's life, man. It's life. My friend's like, yeah, I had Syracuse winning in one of my brackets. <laughs> He's like, if they get the win, I'm going to be so hype. I don't use any of these gay words we use nowadays, like hype and chill. I think it's kind of, you know, I, I wish we can just talk normally, but we got to use all these stupid-ass words nowadays in my generation. That's so hype. Dude, you're pretty chill. Like, it's, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> But whatever. Um, Johnny B. Batten versus Honky Tonk Man in the opening match. It ended up being a draw. Um, this match was kind of boring. It's nothing really. Just your typical WCW opener. Just a lot of boring wrestling. And match was like eight minutes. Um, one three quarters. It was for the TV title. That was kind of a jobber bell in WCW. Um, Paul Roma and Paul Orndor defeated Stars and Stripes, which is kind of a cheap tag team for uh, the tag team belts. Um, who cares? Two stars. Um, I'm just so sick of watching these WCW pay-per-views and never getting any good matches. There's never any good mid-card matches, ever. It's always just garbage. It pisses me off. Like, why can't you just have a good match? I don't get it. You're, are you really your wrestlers are that bad? They can't perform one good mid card match. None of them, they're not, none of their, their mid card matches make it to three stars. None of them, two stars. I'm so sick of watching these guard. Yeah, sick of watching these matches. And oh, yeah. All right, all right, I'll give it two stars. No, it should be. Yeah, this is a good match. I'm gonna give it three and a quarter. No, it's two. It's every time. Um, not just barely giving it two stars. Uh, Dave Sullivan defeat Kevin Sullivan. This was horrendous. Um, I have no idea. Dave Sullivan was out of shape. Every WC, half of the roster is out of shape. Luke Hogan was out of shape at this time. He looked weird in WCW. He's like half his size and like had a mustache for some reason. I don't know if he's always had a mustache. I think he has, but like it just showed up more for some reason. It was like, it's like glowing. Like you see, I don't know. It's, just, it's weird. Um. Dave Sullivan gets the win. Is it this fat, this fat ass <laughs> trying to act like Hogan? It was fucking stupid. Uh, done. Um, I should be a little more, you know, nice because it's Easter, guys. Happy Easter. But uh, yeah. Um, Dustin Rose defeat Art Anderson. Um, one of the reasons why, like, I can't, like, I'm a big. Catholic, like, I'm a big religion freak, I mean, not really, I really don't go to church, I don't go, yeah, I don't, but, um, I'm definitely gonna go to church when I get, like, start my own family, but, the reason why I can't be, like, so entertaining, you know, guys like the Smart Busters and WJ, because I don't say words like retard, I don't call people like that, because I know that's, that's wrong, and it's immoral, that's why, like, I never, you know, I never say anything too bad. I don't, you know, say any racial slurs or say the C word. Um, I know I should stop saying the F word, but, I mean, yeah, 
dud. That was horrible. Dustin Rose feed Arn Anderson. Whatever. I'm I'm so sick of Dustin Rhodes matches. They're all garbage. Um, they're just boring. He does the same moves over and over again for 30 minutes. They're all 30 minutes long. He does the same moves, and it's annoying. It's like punch, kicks, bulldogs, clotheslines. You know, in these old WCW matches, it's like it, it goes on for 30 minutes. Like half the time, it's a draw. For some reason, they don't just pick a winner. And then it's like you, for 30 minutes, you'll just they'll do the same move over and over again then just keep getting up and doing it it looks ridiculous it looks on it looks unrealistic um like none of them had finishers for some reason they just did the same move over and over again i don't um they never had their, like their own distinct move set it's just weird um dustin rose wins who cares two stars um jim duggan hacksaw jim duggan defeats stone cold steve austin stone cold stunning steve austin by DQ. Um, this match was okay. I mean, probably the best thing so far. I was really surprised how good this match was. I thought it was gonna be shit. Um, got some smidgens for Easter. I got an Easter basket. Ooh. It's very nice. My parents. Um. Yeah. Um, so Hacksaw got the win. And the build up to this match is Hacksaw beating Stone Cold in a second from a back body drop. So it just proves how you know how shitty they treated Austin. Well, I need a drink. My throat's so dry. Nice cold glass of diet do. Just kidding, it's real. It's regular. It's regular there, John. So we got this in my Easter basket. I got a six pack of Mountain Dew. It's pretty nice. It's pretty snazzy. Um where are we? Where are we? Where are we? and a quarter or whatever. Vader defeated the Guardian Angel. <laughs> it's like the Guardian Angel, like the worst name I've ever heard <laughs> um, for a wrestler. But uh, yeah, it was Big Boss Man. For some, I don't know why they didn't just call him Big Bubba Rogers. You know, they call him the Guardian Angel. I guess he's like the head of the angels. <laughs> like the head of the angels. That's what their group is called. Um, I, I just find that amusing. Um, two and a half stars. Vader gets the win. The Nasty Boys defeat Bunkhouse Buck and Terry Funk. This match was really weird. It was like five minutes of Terry Funk, you know, threatening the fans. <laughs> and him hitting himself with a chair. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was that match. Two and a quarter. Um, Hulk Hogan, you know, oh, Hulk Hogan gets the win. Defeated Ric Flair in the weirdest cage match I've ever seen in my life. Now, the match wasn't bad or anything. I thought it was a good match, but you had Sherry half naked. Or some like Jimmy Hart. <laughs> Jimmy Hart went to pull her off like the cage she was climbing on, and then like all of her clothes came off. I don't think that was planned. Jimmy Hart's like <laughs> it was kind of funny, but um. So then she gets in the cage, and her and the. Uh, Ric Flair started beating up Hogan. Mr. T was handcuffed to the rope. It was, like, so weird. Um, um, then Hulk Hogan ended up getting the win. Big surprise there. You know, he never loses. I mean, he always loses, right? Um, Hulk Hogan wins with a leg drop. Three stars. It was a career-threatening match. Ric Flair lost. He was done. He was done. And, uh, he lost. But he came back anyway, so it really didn't matter. Um, this was a cage match, um, career threatening, special referee was Mr. T, you can write that down. Uh, pay-per-view gets a 4 out of 10. See you guys later, peace out.